Having created the transaction file and updated all the reference numbers, we will now start to edit the file. If we sort on account numbers, we can see what accounts have not yet been coded, and those are the ones that are marked select account number. We can rapidly code these by going to move next line, selecting the first item, and that is interest, so we'll select interest here, click on description, find interest paid, and click it twice, and that's now being coded. Let's say Santam is finance charges, so we'll go to finance charges here, click on description and highlight the line Santam, click on 375,000 here and that's coded, go to the next one for Santam and go to the next one for Santam, mm. having coded those. We will leave Sam's Butchery uncoded at this stage. We can go and check VAT details by clicking on this option and we get a more detailed description of the transaction file. We can say move next line, transaction code 1 and now we'll sort on account number and we can see all of these accounts, 320,000 should have been VAT code 1 but they're showing a 0 so we will merely click, select the first one and then click on the one here and they will then be coded correctly. We can do the same with any of these accounts. If we go down to leases, possibly that's VAT code 1, and code those accordingly. And possibly Mid-City, which is rent, and code that. And so we complete the exercise here. We can exit back, and we come back to our transaction file, which is now coded. If we sort on account numbers, selecting account 320,000, we can see it has code 1 over here.